Uh, time for the Brown Stable Plate Advisory Handicap Chase next then. Uh, this is a pretty big field for this one. It's two miles on five firm. It's naught to 180. And the top one is Wild Bill Paul Rhodes. Falling through Clouds, Joshua Sutherland. The Kings Estate, Darren Thompson, Burntwood, Martin Leedham, Malto Stupido, Molliette Surfer, Hex of Life, Joshua Sutherland, Lara Croft, David Robertson, Ralph, James Follis, Time Charter, Graham Clutterbuck, Frank and Furter, Kevin Minahan, Half Time, Tea Time, Stu Gray, Deep Mist, Doug Warren, April the 7th, Graham Clutterbuck, Armin Credit, Doug Warren, Black Widow, Molliette Surfer, Dance of the Yellow, Stu Gray, Reign of Terror, Leon Van Rensburg, American Girl, Derek Hinton, Mutanaka Black, Darren Howes, and Emma Ward, Alex Cherry. Away they go then. In the rain. Continues to fall and get their way towards the first of 17 fences to take in this two mile five furlong event. And Wild Bill in the purple jacket on the outside is just leader as they come into the first and over it they go. And all safely over the first with Wild Bill at the centre of the track in the lead. An American girl over on the far rail in second in the pink jacket as they take the second. And they're all safely over the second with purple jacketed. Wild Bill in front and Purple Jacketed Burnt Wood at the back. So making this slight left handed turn then as they come to the next and Wild Bill is over that one nicely in the lead by good three lengths. He's going to cut across to the rail now, I would think, with American Girl in second. In comes Black Widow and Ralph Lara Croft after that one, then Monto Stupido and Hex of Life Deep Miss is also close up. Half time tea time is a bit wide on the track. But Wild Bill's got to the fence and continues to lead by about a length and a half to American Girl in second. Gap of a couple of lengths then to Lara Croft in third and Ralph in fourth. And Hex of Life and Black Widow. As they make their way towards the next just two miles left to go then. And over it goes, leader with a slow jump there by Wild Bill. American Girl has jumped into the lead. So American Girl then just the leader from Wild Bill. As they make their way down towards the fifth. And over that one, they go, oh he's gone, the leader's gone there. Wild Bill's a faller. So, he week continues with lots of fallers this week and Wild Bill out of the race for Paul Rhodes and American Girl left in the lead for Derek Hinton then Lara Croft is second Ralph is third then Deep Miss is four and Hex of Life is five as they take the next and there's another one down there it's Frank and Furter that's gone this time so Kevin Renahan's horse out of the race there as they pass the big screen and over this one down on his nose was half time tea time the rest of them got over it okay although I'm in credit he's been Scrubbed along at the back, so they swing left handed then there, out for a complete circuit of Presbury Park and American Girl, the pink jacketed leader by about two lengths to Ralph in second on the outside of the grey Lara Croft, then Hex of Life and Black Widow and next the followed by Falling Through Clouds and Malto Stupido, then comes Mutanaka Black and Reign of Terror, half time tea times recall from that mistake, Deep Miss is nicely settled mid division, Emma Wood's got the rail as they take the eighth. And that time there was a mistake by the first of the Molliet Surfer horses, Molto Stupido. Come down towards the water jump next then. And American Girl continues to lead. Good jump in second by falling through clouds. And comes Ralph in third. Still quite wide on the track. Burnt Wood is now the widest. Also pretty wide is Time Charter. And they take that ditch and the leader didn't jump in all that brilliantly but he's still in front. American Girl the leader then from Lara Croft on the inside, Hex of Life, Ralph and falling through clouds as they take the 11th. Over that one they go again, slow at the back, I'm in credit, but it's American Girl who's still the leader. From Lara Croft in second, Ralph is third, Hex of Life and falling through clouds, the stable companions together. Then comes Molto Stupido, Mutanata Black and then Deep Mist. So trying to get it on the inside is Reign of Terror as they take that ditch, Burnt on the outside. That's a fall on the half time, two times out of the race and the King's Estate has gone as well. So we've lost four altogether now then. And Lara Croft comes to take it up over that one. Lara Croft is the new leader from in second place, American Girl. Ralph is next. Then Hex of Life, Mutanaka Black, Reign of Terror is creeping ever closer. Then comes Molto Stupido, April the 7th, getting a bit closer as well. Dan Silly Yellow getting the first mention. After that, Emma Wood, Tom Charters dropped right out the back as they take the 14th. And over that one they go. And Lara Croft's the leader from American Girl in second. Reign of Terror, Ralph, Mutanaka Black, Hex of Life, Molto Stupido, Black Widow. Plenty in with chances then as they come down towards the next fence. They've got three more fences to take. Lara Croft jumps 
towards the third, last in the lead, good jump low by Ralph, it's Lara Croft and Ralph from Black Widow in third, then comes Reign of Terror, Mutanaka Black, American Girl beginning to lose her position, coming around the outside, now it's Time Charter, Burntwood's also coming through with a run, but Ralph's hit the front, Ralph's in pole position, then it's Ralph in the lead from Time Charter in second, Lara Croft battling back again on the inside, then comes Burntwood falling through clouds, Reign of Terror, Black Widow and Mutanaka Black trying to get into it, so is April the 7th, but it's Time Charter in the lead from Ralph, they come out of the second last, Time Charter lands in the lead, better jump by Ralph, now coming through is Balto Stupido, also still there falling through clouds, Lara Croft beat Ritz, Ralph and Time Charter at the final fence, Ralph lands in the lead, Time Charter on the outside, here comes Balto Stupido, and falling through clouds, he's almost four in a line, Ralph on the far side, Balto Stupido, and there is two assists between these two, Balto Stupido, Burnwood's trying to finish well, but Balto Stupido inside the final half, Furlong's going to a certain, here comes falling through clouds, it's Balto Stupido who's going to take it, towards the line, Balto Stupido's going to fall through clouds, a second and hits a line from Time Charter and Ralph and Burnwood and Lara Croft and then April the 7th and Emma Wood was the last to finish Reign of Terror and seated his rider at the final fence and Malto Stupido takes it for Molliet Surfer falling through clouds was second for Joshua Sutherland who also took third with Hex of Life Time Charter fourth for Graham Clutterbuck and Ralph was fifth for James Follis